Good morning everyone, welcome to the vlog. So today I am just kind of like chilling a little bit, like I do have a few things that I really want to get done. It's been quite a different week because, well we had like a horrific storm. So you must have heard on the news, because apparently it's been everywhere, that there was a really like this crazy supercell storm that came. It was crazy. I took video and everything and some of the videos that are like circulating are honestly insane. It was pretty bad because so many areas have been flooded so badly. Basically we haven't been able to go anywhere all week. So usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays we have our gym and we had to cancel that because the surrounding areas were completely flooded there like you couldn't even get through. I mean forget about that area even just the roads in general you can't get through like the, the roundabout which is close to where we live was completely underwater like people were parking their cars in the middle of the highway and just leaving them there so they could walk home and people are driving in opposite directions on the highway like it's been crazy because there just isn't a way to get around it and so many people have tried driving through ended up completely destroying their cars and having to like literally just try and get out or people have been say like you know like there's people going around trying to get people out of their cars because they're stuck because obviously the doors won't open and things it's been pretty insane and i really feel for the people who have kind of been displaced and the homes that have been flooded as well like some of the videos i've seen are horrific like it's actually insane how much water there was and honestly when you i remember looking out we were at home and i remember looking out the window and i was like that looks so bad because on one side it was all like blue and then on the other side it was just this like darkness coming it was like it was moving so fast as well and it was just slow and then it just slowly just came and everything went dark and it was it, oh we had leaks everywhere we had leaks coming in we thought we were okay and then i just remember coming into the lounge and i was like just shouted at, at bobby i was like babe it's like leaking so bad so we just got whatever towels that we could and literally everywhere there was just towels around like the balcony area and everything so yeah it just it was coming down so fast that it just was coming it, the levels were raising way faster than they could go down the drain it was just crazy it's been a week we i haven't actually ventured <laughs> out of my area all week i meant to have my mai tai session today and i don't think i'm able to have it because i messaged my coach yesterday i was like look is it still okay for today like i don't even know because i haven't actually like ventured out he's like look he said <laughs> he basically was like really short and sweet he was just like uh i'll let you know tomorrow and then he sent me a video of where he is and it's like ridiculous i was like listen look just don't even worry about it so i'm gonna miss that session so basically i've had a whole week of no fitness and i'll be honest i haven't been getting my steps in but that's a whole other discussion i really do want to have because i kind of feel a little bit like I've been thinking a lot about it and like my PT has obviously said to me like he's really been on my case about getting like 12,000 steps every day. There are some weeks where it's a good week and I'm like okay I've got it but those are usually the weeks where my workload is a lot less and I just don't have a lot that I'm have, like I, I'm on top of things or I don't have a lot that's going on. Realistically that can't that isn't going to be my life and I've had to really it's taken me a while it's been festering I feel like in my mind and I also realized that I don't know how to describe it I kind of feel like it's a negative for me because because I shouldn't feel like this. This isn't because I haven't got myself into that lifestyle or anything. I don't want that lifestyle of having to think to myself every day, oh, I need to get 12,000 steps. And I know my PT keeps saying to me that, look, you know, we need to get it so it just comes naturally to you. We need to get to that point. The problem is, is that's not going to happen because I don't have the time for that and I don't want to spend my day looking at my watch to make sure that I've got my 12,000 steps. I don't know if any of you kind of feel this like in you know about maybe other things but you know the whole point of me kind of you know doing this whole fitness thing and getting a PT and you know getting the right one is that I don't want to feel like I'm having to do things which I know are not going to be sustainable for me and I just and I know it sounds minor it's 12,000 steps but honestly everything that I do is sitting down like there's there's such like there's probably one thing that I do when it comes to my work which is I could potentially walk around honestly I do that once a week so how am I going to do that every single day? Like, and he said to me, like, you know, do do your work standing up and stuff like that, like walk around. I can't do that because my, I'm venting to you guys now. My laptop, I can't walk around with it. Like, so I think I'm going to have a chat with him when I see him. I, I just have to be honest with him. Like, I can't, this whole 12,000 step thing is actually 
starting to it is kind of try, it's starting to like put me off the whole fitness thing and I and I was really enjoying it but I didn't have that kind of target in my head and now I have that target in my head that I feel like if I don't meet I've kind of let someone down I don't care about letting myself down when it comes to steps do you know what I mean I have bigger things that I'm achieving and accomplishing and I know that that is going to help me but I'd rather do 15 minutes on the treadmill or running do that a few times a week than spend every day feeling like oh great you know like I just it puts me in a really down like I feel really down about it then so sometimes like it gets to like 9 p.m and I know okay I've got 2,000 steps left and then I start walking around like a complete insane person like around my home trying to get these 2,000 steps in at 9 9 30 at night and my husband's like what the hell are you doing it's just ridiculous do, do you know what I mean clearly I can't get those steps in because if I do then my work will suffer and I, I can't have that. And you know, I kind of, I, I don't know, maybe I'm being really naive, but I'm sure that's the, not the only thing that's gonna keep me fit. Do, do you see what I mean? So yeah, maybe I'm venting a little bit, but I'm actually really annoyed at how it's been like started to make me feel. And and you know what, on top of that, I've like started Muay Thai and I love it. And I'm so excited for my next session. And he got me running at the end of my last session. I have two different coaches. So my Muay Thai coach got me sprinting and I was literally dead. Like I, just, I was like so dead at the end. I thought I was gonna pass out and he was tough on me and I liked that, but not in a way where I'm like, he's literally gonna kill me. Like that completely contradicted everything I just said because I said I was dead. So over, over, you know, exaggerating at the moment, but honestly it felt so bad. But the thing is he got me doing that and I hated how I felt after I did that sprint. And I was like, that is so bad considering I've been going to the gym for a whole, like nearly a year. I asked him what I should do and he said, you need to do a couple of hit sessions like sprinting and then, you know, stop, sprint, stop. So I did that and I've been, and, and I don't mind doing that because I know that's only gonna take me 15 minutes. So I can, I can do that. 15 minutes is like doable in my day and I've done a good like hit session and hopefully you know uh, my general fitness is, <laughs> is a bit better but walking like I've done my I've done 12,000 steps in a day many many times throughout this process and I can't take that level of time out I just I just can't I'm talking to you guys like you're my PT maybe I'm just like <laughs> practicing it <laughs> The thing is, I just don't believe that that's the only thing that's going to help me to like reach my fitness goal. Do, do you know what I mean? Like there's got to be other stuff that is quicker that I can do. Like I get walking is good. I can get my like averages around 8,000 steps. It's not like I'm really bad, but it's trying to get it to that 12 is not great. And on the odd day, sometimes I've only done like five, you know, and that's because I'm literally sitting all day because I've got deadlines and stuff. That's my situation, guys. I just thought I'd, I thought I'd put that on you this morning. But today I'm gonna go do a run. I'm already taking Nick out for a walk. Gonna have my coffee, gonna eat something, and then I'll wait a little while, go do a run. And once I've done that, and I'm gonna feel really good, I do need to walk to the grocery store. And when I took Nico out this morning, it was so hot. I took him out at 8.30 and it was so hot. I'm like, how am I gonna walk to the grocery store? Because Bobby's away, by the way. He's doing another cycling trip. He's gone to... Uh, Oman so he's gonna be back um in a couple of days so yeah it's just me just me and Nico so I'm gonna go for a walk later but I'm just trying to think like should I oh, I think I'm just gonna deal with it I'll, I'll have to just deal with it and just go in the heat I'll put a cap on because I need to get some groceries and then I'm kind of done for the day for the rest of the day oh my god that like whole construction thing they're doing is so annoying can you hear it I mean, I have got the patio door open. Once that closes, it's not as noisy, but this is what I'm dealing with. Literally cannot have a peaceful, you know, weekend. Yeah, the rest of the day, I'm just gonna kind of like relax, I think, because every time Bobby goes away, I end up just doing so much work. I do have a little bit to do, but I think I can just chill on the sofa and do it. So I feel like that just, relaxes the work as opposed to like I'm working so yeah guys I am just gonna kind of make some breakfast chill for a bit and then go for my run
don't think you've seen Nico for a while. Nico, look, say hi. Say hi, guys. Just been chilling. You know, I do the most ridiculous thing. Well, it's not really ridiculous. I think it's just with like people who are quite emotional and I am quite an emotional person. I saw this kind of meme earlier and it's so weird because I did it yesterday. And then I see this meme it was like a quote thing, you know, it's not necessarily a meme. And I was like, oh my God, like, yeah, I did that yesterday. Like yesterday I saw this reel, which was about this dog and its owner basically put a reel together of the dog and it was this overlay voiceover. And like, he was talking about how, when he got his dog and the, the kind of journey they had together. And then at the end, oh, it was so sad. I was full on crying. He said, you got tired one day and then it turned out you had cancer and it just made me cry. It made me so upset. Oh my God, it's making me upset now because it made me think of Nico. Like, and then I saw a reel today. Someone put like, they again, another video of their dog and the lady, the owner was like, I literally fully grieve my dog, even though he's fully healthy and alive at the moment. Like just the thought of that time when it comes, when they're no longer around. And that's the part that makes me cry. Oh my God, I'm doing it again. I mean, it is the time of the month. So I do know that I'm extremely overly sensitive at the moment. Yeah, it really made me cry. It fully made me cry. And like Nico, when I cry, he is the sweetest thing. You will always comfort me, won't you? You always comfort me. And he just like licks away my tears, don't you? Oh my gosh. Just the thought just makes me feel so sad. I just want him to have a really healthy, full life. And I just want him to be happy, like all the time. And a lot of people like, you know, talk about, you know, if or when, well, when you're you know dog passes away like would you get another one do you think it's right to get another one and it's not a, for me i would and it isn't because i'd want to replace him because you could never replace nico you know anyone who has any kind of you know like a dog a cat any kind of you know animal that they look after it, it's just this bond that like you can't even imagine your life before without them like you can't even you kind of think to yourself, what was I doing? I just wasn't even, what was I doing before? So it's not a case of replacing him. It would be to be able to kind of give that love and, and make another animal's life so kind of happy because it just brings me so much kind of satisfaction knowing that he has a good life. You know, if you think about some of the people that have dogs and cats and everything and they don't look after them, it's just horrendous. Like, I just don't understand why you would. I don't think you should go and get, you know, a pet or anything with the sole purpose of it entertaining you. It's about being able to kind of give it a loving home. That was my little emotional part of today's video. So I've had a run. I've come back, just made myself a coffee. I actually haven't had lunch yet and it's like two o'clock. I'll be honest, this morning I had my breakfast and then I sat down because I just could not be bothered. It took me a while to get up and actually go for the run. I had to really push myself. I was like, I can't be bothered, it's a weekend. But then I was like, get, just go there. Just get there, start it, you're gonna feel so much better. And I really do. I don't know why people end up, I don't know why you second guess yourself when you know when you get down there, you're gonna be fine. It's just that initial, that little walk. So it's just really weird. But I am second guessing the walk to go do the grocery shop, but I have to. I was sitting here thinking, do I really have to? Do I have anything I could just have instead at home? And realistically, I've got like a very small amount of yogurt left. I don't even know if we've got any eggs, I have to check. Even if we do, I can't keep eating eggs for like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Hello my good boy, oh, my good boy. You're such a good boy, aren't you? So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go. It's just so hot outside. He loves taking his bed, like this is his day bed, by the way, he has a d separate sleep bed, but he loves taking his bed to different places. Like he just drags it wherever he wants to take it. So I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'm gonna head out. So 
change of plan guys I didn't end up going for that walk because I just got so tired I was just like I don't ever just take the day especially when Bobby's not home so I thought you know what I'm just gonna take the day I've done my run I feel like that's enough for the day so I'm just gonna chill so I had some like leftover bolognese from dinner yesterday so I thought I'll have that for lunch what like without the pasta just the bolognese evening I'm gonna get takeout anyway so what it just means is because I'm not running tomorrow I'm just gonna go for that grocery shop tomorrow morning so yeah decided to stay in I'm glad I did so I've been watching the JLo documentary and now I'm on the JLo movie I wanted to watch the movie after because it would just give me a better understanding of like the movie <laughs> in general i've been seeing a lot of kind of like weird backlash about jlo and her movie in the documentary especially on tiktok like it's crazy how many videos are coming up talking about just how delusional the movie is and even her documentary like how she comes across and I was a bit hesitant to watch it. I've been putting off watching it because I really didn't want to just watch what I've been hearing, basically, because I've always loved JLo. I just think that she's so hardworking, like everything that I've seen, the way she portrays herself, like she just goes for her dreams and she really goes for it. And I, and I find her quite inspirational in the sense that she just is so hardworking, you know, like she doesn't really take no for an answer. So I didn't want to watch it because I didn't want my kind of like this image that I have of her to be kind of shattered. But I watched it and I don't understand what people are going on about. Like, okay, fair enough. There are some parts of the movie which are like, okay, you know, I don't get it. But then at the same time, she says that in the documentary that, you know, I don't expect people to get it. It's like almost in a dream world, you know, it's kind of snippets of her real life, but it's all been kind of dramatized and almost taken out of context intentionally because of the way that it's been directed and it's been conceptualized. I actually don't understand why everyone's going so crazy about it. like leave the woman alone who cares just let her do what she wants she funded the project herself it's up to her how she creates it and she knew it wasn't necessarily going to be a cup of tea for every like everyone's cup of tea so i don't understand why everyone's hating on her so much not just that but some of the clips that i've seen on tiktok like taken from her documentary about how she doesn't care about her friend you know, like she's not bothered when her friend tries out one of the machines in the gym. Her response to certain situations when it comes to hiring certain people for the movie. I just feel like there's a lot of editing involved as well. Not that it was edited intentionally that well, that way, but you're not, you're never going to see the real picture unless you were right there. Do, do you know what I mean? And Or unless there's a zero editing in the footage, which clearly there was, because otherwise, you know, they could, it, it would just take forever. But yeah, I just don't get it. I don't understand why everyone's so, going so crazy about it. Like, it's like, it, it really annoys me, this whole cancel culture, because it's like people are actually trying to, like, cancel her. I don't know. I just feel like, I feel bad for her with the kind of backlash that she's got from this. It's like, no one deserves to be painted out in that way. Uh, I don't know. I, I actually thought it was okay. I mean, is it something that I would have watched if I didn't really like JLo? Probably not. Have I ended up skipping certain parts of the movie? Just, yeah, because it's not my cup of tea when it comes to, like, that. I don't watch, like, kind of, you know, musical-style stuff like that. I wanted to see it just to see what everyone was going on about, and I don't get it. So, yeah, that was just my little piece <laughs> for that. Also, it's been so hot all day because the AC hasn't been working, and the sun sets on this side. So, basically, it's absolutely boiling. <laughs> and I didn't want to stress Bobby out about it because he's been on his ride and he was going on some boat cruise thing as well. So I just messaged him now because he said that he's back in the room now. So then I was like, uh, babe, yeah, it's not really working. Oh, what the hell? He's told me what to do and I fixed it. So thank God the AC's on now. I think I'm going to take Nico for a walk in a second. His head literally just popped up like walk. Are we going for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? And then once I'm back, I'm going to have a shower and I'm going to do some like at home, like self-care stuff, you know, like do my infrared light, put a mask on maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that when I'm back. I just feel like I needed this day and I'm just so glad that I actually did go for a run and I'm really enjoying it. The only thing is I'm just kind of like worried, like, am I going to end up kind of hurting myself because I haven't run for so many years and then I'm like sprinting and I remember once I got shin splint and it was so painful 
because it's when you overuse like a muscle and I just that's why I was doing calf raises so I'm trying to like do that extra warm-up before starting to run to really kind of avoid that but yeah it's been really good that I've started to run I'm really enjoying it I'm hoping to build myself up to a point where I can run continuously maybe even that like you know like couch to 5k thing like I might download one of those apps and try it but I just at the moment this is my second run I just want to get back into it probably like on a hit level so that you know it's just intervals at the moment but I want to be able to get like do it continuously but at the moment I think I'm happy with this just to warm up and I want to rush into it I'm enjoying that so much because it's literally just like 15 to 20 minutes 20 minutes max it takes me and then I'm done and that's it it's done <laughs> see what I mean like I don't have to spend like hours walking it's done and I can still get on with the rest of my day so this is the thing with this whole like 12,000 steps thing like I could have done that today because I've got the time and I haven't really focused on working today but every day is not like that every day majority of the time I don't have enough time and I want to be as productive as possible and get as much done and that basically involves sitting down don't get me wrong I do move around you know like I do do my stretching because I find that that's important regardless of what your lifestyle is like so I make sure I get my stretching in I also obviously do my type boxing and I also go to the gym to lift weights now adding on top of that a good couple of hours to get my 12,000 steps in in a day I just don't have the time I'm I literally reached my limit when it comes to the amount of activity I'm doing this kind of like doing a 20 minute run three times a week is just perfect for me I hope that will kind of like you know like I don't think I'm the only one who thinks that way sometimes like you know you you put these kind of like unrealistic expectations on yourself and I feel like you have to kind of be realistic about it. I mean, to be honest, I didn't put that expectation on me. My PT did, but I think I need to be really honest with him when I see him this week and just say, look, I'm telling you now, it's just, I know he's probably going to think I'm. it's just a cop out and I'm just like, can't be bothered like I could potentially get it done but I just can't like I, it's not like I don't enjoy it I do enjoy walking I actually really enjoy it because it gives me some time to like just you know like not think about work and stuff I just kind of like relax a bit more and it's just quite wholesome but I don't have the time for that whatever walking I do that's what I have time for and that's it and you know what I'm also glad that I went for that run today because it's time of the month. I'm not exactly feeling the greatest. I feel quite bloated and that's just made me feel better about it. And also that's another reason why I didn't go for that grocery walk today because I just wanted to chill. I haven't had a chance to like kind of just chill. So I'm quite happy I've relaxed today to be honest with you. I think I'm going to take him for a walk now and then yeah I guess get on with a little bit of self-care. Mm -hmm.